We've all heard that push-ups are one of the best exercises for building upper body strength. But what if you've been doing push-ups for a while now, and you're still not seeing the muscle growth you expected? What if there's something crucial that most people are overlooking in their routines? Well, you're in luck because today, we're going to reveal the push-up strategy no one's talking about. It could be the key to unlocking real muscle growth, especially as you get older. But wait, it's not just about doing as many push-ups as possible. Nope, we're going to dig deeper into how you can tweak your push-up routine to see real results. Whether you're a beginner, someone hitting a plateau, or just looking for more advanced tips, stick around, because you're about to get a game-changing push-up guide. Why push-ups alone won't maximize muscle growth? Let's start by debunking a major myth. Doing push-ups every single day without rest isn't necessarily the best way to build muscle. Sure, push-ups are a fantastic resistance exercise that challenges multiple muscles at once, your chest, arms, shoulders, and core, but what you might not know is that the real muscle-building magic happens when you're not doing push-ups. Crazy, right? But here's the science. Every time you do a push-up, you're creating tiny micro-tears in your muscle fibers. This is a good thing. It's what signals your body to start repairing and strengthening those muscles. However, without proper recovery, you might be doing more harm than good. Your muscles need time to repair, and if you're not allowing that, you could be risking overtraining. What does that mean? Overtraining can lead to all sorts of problems. Chronic soreness, poor sleep, loss of motivation, and even a weakened immune system. So it's not just about your muscles, your entire body can suffer if you're overdoing it. The importance of rest, where the magic happens. Here's where it gets interesting. When you rest, your body kicks into high gear. It's during this downtime that your muscles repair and grow stronger. This process, called muscular hypertrophy, doesn't involve creating new muscle fibers but rather thickening the ones you already have. Your body does this by boosting growth hormone levels and increasing protein synthesis, especially when you're sleeping. If you're cutting corners on sleep, you might be cutting your muscle gains short too. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of sleep every night, especially after an intense push-up session. Rest isn't a luxury, it's a requirement for growth. So, if you're doing push-ups every day without allowing your muscles the time they need to heal, you're probably stuck in a cycle of damage without enough recovery. In other words, you're limiting your progress. Why slowing down your push-ups can change everything. Now, let's talk about the actual push-up. Everyone knows the basic motion, lower yourself to the ground and push yourself back up. But did you know that the tempo at which you perform your push-ups can significantly affect muscle growth? Here's the deal, slow, controlled push-ups are far more effective for building muscle than rapid, high rep sets. When you slow down the lowering phase of the push-up, called the eccentric phase, you increase the time your muscles spend under tension. This increased time under tension has been shown to boost muscle activation and growth. Pausing at the bottom before pushing back up engages your muscles even further, helping you build strength and size more effectively. Progressive overload, the key to continuous growth. So you've mastered the basics, and now you're doing push-ups with perfect form. But there's another important concept you need to know if you want to keep seeing results, progressive overload. What's that? It's the practice of gradually increasing the difficulty of your workout over time. If you continue doing the same number of push-ups with the same intensity, your muscles will eventually adapt, and you'll stop growing. To break through this plateau, you need to challenge your body in new ways. You can do this by increasing the number of reps, adding sets, or trying more advanced push-up variations. For instance, once you can comfortably do standard push-ups, you might want to try decline push-ups where your feet are elevated on a surface, or add a weight vest for increased resistance. Constant progression forces your muscles to keep adapting, ensuring continuous growth. How many push-ups should you be doing? The number of push-ups you should aim for depends on your fitness level and your goals. If you're just starting out, don't overwhelm yourself. Start with a manageable number. For example, if your maximum is 10 push-ups, aim for 7 to 8 per set. Perform 3 to 4 sets of 6 to 10 push-ups, and gradually increase as you get stronger. If standard push-ups are too challenging, you can begin with knee push-ups or incline push-ups. For more experienced folks, 3 to 4 sets of 15 to 25 push-ups is a good goal. 
You can also throw in an AMRAP, as many reps as possible, set every now and then to push your limits. For the advanced crowd, push-ups can still be a challenge. Try variations like explosive push-ups, one-arm push-ups, or weighted push-ups. Aim for 3 to 4 sets of 20 to 30 reps, incorporating advanced moves to keep your muscles guessing. The overlooked essentials, joint health and mobility. While most people focus on the number of reps or the intensity of their workout, they often neglect another critical component, joint health and mobility. Improper form during push-ups can lead to joint injuries over time, especially in your shoulders and wrists. To avoid this, focus on maintaining proper form throughout your sets and incorporate mobility work into your routine. In addition to push-ups, stretching, foam rolling and mobility exercises are crucial for keeping your joints healthy. Paying attention to your shoulder and wrist mobility will not only enhance your push-up performance but also help you avoid injury, ensuring you can continue training for years to come. Nutrition – The Secret to Muscle Growth No matter how many push-ups you do, you won't see the muscle growth you're aiming for without proper nutrition. Your body needs fuel to grow stronger. Specifically, you need to be consuming enough calories and protein to support muscle repair and growth. Aim for 1 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight daily. Protein is the building block your body needs to repair those micro-tears in your muscles, helping them grow back thicker and stronger. And don't forget about carbs. Your muscles need energy to perform at their best. Eating complex carbohydrates before your workout can give you the fuel you need to power through an intense push-up session. Afterward, make sure to incorporate healthy fats and drink plenty of water to help with recovery. Frequently Asked Questions Number 1. Is it okay to do push-ups every day? You can do push-ups every day, but it's not ideal for muscle growth. Your muscles need time to recover and repair. Aim for 2 to 3 push-up sessions per week with rest days in between. Number 2. Can push-ups really increase chest size? Yes, push-ups are one of the best exercises for building chest muscles. If paired with proper nutrition and rest, Push-ups can significantly enhance the size and shape of your chest. Number 3. When's the best time to do push-ups? It depends on your personal preference, but doing push-ups about 1-2 to two hours after a carbohydrate-rich meal can give you the energy boost needed for peak performance. Number 4. Can push-ups help improve core strength? Absolutely. Push-ups engage your core muscles in addition to your upper body, which means they can help you build stability and strength in your midsection. The secret push-up strategy no one's talking about. Remember when we mentioned there's a push-up strategy no one is talking about? Here it is. Tempo manipulation and unconventional push-up variations. Most people do push-ups at a standard pace, but if you slow down the eccentric phase and add a pause at the bottom, you'll significantly increase muscle activation. This, combined with variations like explosive or one-arm push-ups, will keep your muscles from adapting and force them to grow. Now that you know the science behind push-ups and how to do them for maximum results, it's time to put this knowledge into action. Let us know how many push-ups you can do in the comments below, and come back in a month to share your progress. Also, don't forget to check out our other videos and playlists for more insightful content.